let, let me jump in here because I'm going to pick up on that very point because, you know, as Tucker started with an anecdote, I want to give you an anecdote too about five men in New York City. I'm sure you know about them. They were found to have box cutters and they looked Middle Eastern. They were arrested. They were held for over a month. They were blindfolded in their cells. They were kept in handcuffs in their cells and it turned out that they worked for a moving company in New York, which is why they had box cutters and they were Middle Eastern. They were Israelis. They were Jews. And isn't that the problem That's with good. this massive profiling that we're doing right now and excusing it because the terrorists were all Middle Eastern? Look, nobody, nobody uh, condones that. I mean, you'd have to be absurd to. On the other hand, look, we've had a terrible tragedy here. 6,000 people have been killed. Now, if you want to look at the source of it, the source of it, unfortunately, has come from radical, and I emphasize radical. I've spent time in Kuwait, Lebanon, Egypt. I've got friends all over that community, here and there. So I'm very sympathetic to Mr. Habish and your view on taking people who shouldn't be brought in. But on the other hand, there is that element. And unless we're prepared to deal with that element in, strong, in a strong way, we the, may he, suffer the consequences he, as a whole. The, okay, here's the problem, dealing with that element. I want to remind you of um, Timothy McVeigh. Exactly. And remind you of Oklahoma City. And I remind you of what a response was not after that bombing, except in one case that I that can recall. Was, uh, I'd like you to listen, to, please, to uh, just a little um, soundbite here from the attorney for some of the detainees, Mr. Randall Hamoud. Uh, he was on the CNN with Greta Van Susteren just this Monday evening. When Timothy McVeigh was identified as a culprit in the Oklahoma City bombing, I didn't see mass uh, uh, arrests of Irish Catholic or blonde blue-eyed people who might have interacted with McVeigh or prayed at his church. Right, I mean, so we're doing this profiling just because it's easy to identify these people and because they're Arabs, right? No, not necessarily so at all. I mean, in the case of Timothy Mivey, I can take an argument that you would perhaps agree with and I agree with, and that is the first reaction to Timothy McVey was it must have been Arabs who did that Oklahoma bombing. You remember that. I, on the other I hand, have all, all taken the position that, wait a minute, let's go find out exactly who it is. In point of fact, unfortunately, in terms of these other incidents, by the way, whether they're here, whether it's in uh, the USS Cole, whether it's the Kobar bombing of the tower there, you go through every one of these incidents, unfortunately, and this is no reflection on our fine Arab American community, unfortunately, they are coming from that group of fanatic, <clears throat> what I call fundamentalist Muslims. Most Muslims, by the way, don't even agree with it. I agree with you that, that there is a crisis situation. I agree with you that there is an emergency. The problem is that what we've gotten in this legislation is a vast laundry list. I mean, I'm not even sure everyone in Congress who voted for this, uh, particularly in the, in the House or even in the Senate, read the whole thing thoroughly because it's so vast. And what it is is a laundry list of wants that the federal government has, has been after, has been asking for, for ages and that have been turned down time and again. Now there's an emergency. The whole country agrees there's an emergency. We're getting all kinds of transfer of power and arbitrary authority of the federal government without judicial review, without appropriate oversight or checks and balances. Let, and let, this is, let, this is I think, let, a mistake. Let me stop you both right there, if I can, because we're getting into that legislation. We'll take a break and we'll pick up with the anti-terrorism legislation that passed the Senate today. Does it go too far or does it not go far enough? Yes.